question one, use the figure to name. So this is the given figure and we have to find questions from A to D. So we'll do first A part, five points. So there are five points represented by D, E, O, B, C. So this is the first point, D. This is the E point. This is the central point or the O point. This is the B point. And this is the last point, that is the C point. So we have five points. Now B part, we are asked to find a line. Well, there are many lines or we can say a line can be represented in multiple ways. Line is represented by a line followed by two arrows at the both end. This means it goes for infinity. And line segment is represented by two dots. It means it do not go for infinity, it is finite. And array is followed by a starting point denoted by a dot and it goes to infinity represented by an arrow. So this is how we represent the line, line segment and ray. So here we have BD. We don't have OC. Why? Because it is a ray. Because there is no arrow on the other side. So this was your B part. Now C part. Four rays. Now the third part. So here ray is something which looks like this. As I explained earlier. So DB. DB is a ray. Okay. Now DE is itself a ray because it falls into this DB as well. So we can also name it in another ways. Similarly, we can name it as OB and EB. So there are many different ways to name the rays. And now the D part, five line segments. Well, there are multiple line segments. Line segment is represented as shown in the figure. So DE, this is DE, it is a line segment. It is finite. The difference between line segment and a line is that line segment is finite. Whereas line is infinite. So we have EO, OB and EB similarly. So another could be, you can also see OD is a line segment. So this was your question number one. Question two, name the line given in all possible or 12 ways in this case, choosing only two letters at a time from the four given region. So this is a line and we have to represent it in 12 ways. We can write it in different 12 ways. So first of all, we'll point from A. We can point to three directions, namely AB, this is AB, and then we can point it to AC, this is AC, and then AD. So this was your A part. Now for B part, from B to A, and from B to C, and then from B to D. This was your second part. And from C, look, from C to A, then from C to B, and then from C to D. This was for your C part. Now, at last, from D. D look, DA, and we have DB, and DC. So this is how we can represent. The only thing is that you have to keep in mind that you have to use arrows above it, the sign of arrow. So this was your 12 possible ways to represent a line. Third, use the figure to name. So this is the figure and we have to name the following from A to D. The first one is line containing point E. Well, there are many answers in this case. One answer is AE. You can see here in the given figure. P part. Well, line passing through A. Again, many answer. One answer is AE. Look. A E and here A passes from here. Another could be A D. So this was your B part. C part line on which O lies. Well, O lies on O C or C O. You can write it on two different ways. That is C O and O C. So this was your C part. D two pairs of intersecting lines. Well, we have many answers here possible. Look, these are the lines. So some are CO and AE. You can see CO and AE are intersecting. And you can also write it in different ways. That is OC and EA. Another is AE and EF. Look here. Or you may write it as EA and FD. Therefore, it has many possible answers. 
So this was your question number third. Question fourth. How many lines can pass through a one given point and second two given points? So number first is countless. You can see here O is the center point that is one point. And there are countless or infinite number of lines that can be made to pass through. So this was your A part. For the B, two given points. So only one line can be drawn from here. Why? Because you can simply see here that if we draw from some other point like B, then A would not be included and vice versa. So this is how you have to do question number four. Five. Draw a rough figure and label suitably in each case as follows. So we have to do from A to D again. The first one is shown here. Point P lies on AB. Yes, point P lies on AB. This is true for the first case. And second, XY and PQ intersect at M. You can see two lines that is XY and PQ and they are intersecting at the point M. So this was your B part. C. Line L contains E and F but not D. So this is a line that is EF and uh, it do not contain D because D falls at some other point. So this was your C part. Then D, OP and OQ meet at O. This line is OP and this one is OQ and O meets at the point. So this was your question for you. Sixth, consider the following figure of line MN. So this is the line MN. Say whether the following statements are true or false in context of the given figure. So number first, we have to do A part. Here, Q, M, O, N, P are points on the line MN. Well, yes, all these points fall on line MN. So therefore, it is true and we will take it. B part. M O N are points on the line segment M N. Well, yes, O falls in between and M and N are also part of line segment. Line segment is finite. So therefore, it is true and we will take it again. Now see, M and N are N points of line segment M N. Again, M N is a line segment having finite length and also M and N are N points here. So it is true again. Now the D part, O and N are N points of line segment OP. Well, in this case, it is false. Why it is false? Because O and P are line segments, not O and N. That's why it is false. Now the E part, M is one of the N points of line segment QO. Well, this is QO and it is saying that M is one of the N points. Well, no, it, is, it falls in between. It is not the N point, so it is false. F part. M is point on ray OP. We will take ray OP that is starting from O and going towards P and it says M. No, N is a point, not M. So it is false here. G part. Ray OP, we'll consider OP starting from O, is different from ray QP. Well, this is true. Why? Because starting points are different. This is true. H. Ray OP is the same as OM. Well, this is wrong, obviously wrong, because two rays has to be different if they are named different. This is false. Now the I part. Ray OM is not opposite to ray OP. Well, it is false. It is opposite. It is saying it is not opposite, whereas it is opposite. So this is false. Now the J part. O is not an initial point of OP. Well, O is initial point. It is saying not, so therefore it is false. Now the last part, that is A part, N is the initial point of NP and NM. Yes, it is true because ray is starting from N in both the cases and it is saying that N is the initial point. As you can see here, NP and NM, N is initials. This is how you do such type of a questions. So this was your question number sixth.